twice monthly, my 30 Days Out column spotlights forthcoming music events and shows of notice, shining a light into some less well-lit corners, even where a few fascinating musicians schedule performances. I do my very best to offer considerable advance notice so that you can adjust your budget and calendar in a way that lets you get to the series. Live and local shows featuring Americana, indie rock, boundary pushing electronic music and raw rock and roll are highlighted in this roundup. Individually, Betty Sue, Grace Pettis and Rebecca Lieby each won the prestigious New Folk Award at the long-running Kerrville Folk Festival in Texas. And while each has her own full-time career, Betty Sue is a member of wonderful retro trio Charlie Faye and the Fayettes as well. The three women have decided to team up for a tour that highlights their combined chemistry. The tour presents material from each musician's solo career as well as previewing songs from the trio's upcoming EP Waterline under the band name Nobody's Girl. For some, rock and roll only succeeds when at its sleaziest, slick and polished rocking simply doesn't move them. And for such connoisseurs of the elemental, there is, and has long been, Crank County Daredevils. Starting in 2003 and continuing to today, save for a six-year break, this noisy quartet has churned out music that tears away the sheen and polish, leaving it in a bloody heap on the stage. Well, figuratively, at least. And while they've aged right along with rest of us, the Daredevils continue to live up to the title of their 2004 debut, Kings of Sleaze. And yes, singer Scotty P does look a bit like Dead Nugent. Gunpowder Grey opens. Florida indie rock group Surfer Blood released its first album, Astro Coast. In 2010, though guitarist John Paul Pitts and drummer Tyler Schwartz had already been playing together under another name for a few years. Some early recognition at CMJ, and from Pitchfork reviewers, buoyed the band and raised its profile. The band's fourth album, Snowdonia, was released early last year. More recently, Surfer Blood released an album of songs originally performed by other artists as buried as Mud Honey, Cream and Chad and Jeremy, covers features cover artwork in homage to Fleetwood Mac's idiosyncratic Tusk. The current tour is in support of both albums. Winter Opens Date, Friday, May 4th, and Saturday, May 5th, 2 to 11.30 p.m. Door, $15 for one day, $25 for both days. Originally known as Mountain Skies, the annual Electro Music Asheville Festival began in 2012, held at Asheville's Masonic Temple. The event brought together two dozen musical acts, all committed to the creation of music that ventured far outside the commercial norm. Beginning in 2016, the two-day festival moved to White Horse Black Mountain, expanding its scope and reach. Visual artists are now a key component of the event, which features ambient, space rock and a wide array of other styles performed by local, regional and international musicians. You may also enjoy, with way more than 2,500 entries and more than 550 interviews, my Muso Scribe blog features new content, features, reviews and more, every business day. A proud tradition, now in its 10th year. My book, Reinventing Pink Floyd, from Sid Barrett to the Dark Side of the Moon, published by Roman and Littlefield, is available now. <laughs>